And welcome everyone to thank you for taking the moment to watch my new 2022 updated versions of my guide uh, series that we are doing for the Fisher Online. A lot of the guides that I made the previous year uh, are still applicable, but we'll be making updated versions plus a lot more since the game has really developed and lots of content was added, lots of features were changed, and certainly we're going to be going through them. So one of the most uh, things that I see or, or required questions is, is when do I repair my gear? And for instance, today it took me 342 daily shows to wear down my one Salomo Rio. And we're going to show an example on how to repair it today. So all you need to do is you go up to a store. And as soon as you're able to enter the store, you find that, there it is, it says the shop. You press your inventory, and of course mine's set to my fishing rods, and we're going to look at the Salomo Carp Hunter Golds. Now, if you right-click on it right now, you'll see that there is a repair button on here, and this is only for the rod guys, okay? And uh, I'm not going to open this one today because I want it to be a surprise. Because I still have, as you can see here, about probably 45% left. And I don't need to repair it until it hits the red. But we're going to go to the cogwheel in here. And when you come into the cogwheel, you see where it's here. Basically, there's some numbers or something. But when this goes down, it'll become red. Something like what you see in the Salomo Fox now. There's no need to repair this now until it hits the red. And same with this reel. It doesn't do any impact in the game. But we are going to repair it today, so simply right click on it and you'll see the wrench in the bottom now. This was a kind of an updated, easier feature to work with on repairing it. So uh, when you click on the wrench, it gives you your amount for 3,674 uh 46 so uh today i am going to repair it i'm going to spend a little bit of my coin but i'm going to show you how it works and then when you press ok and there it is it is refilled right back up you can right click on it and there's no repair bar and it says here look at this guys 97 percent so i could have maybe caught another fish or two yet but i brought it within three percent and it shows you the repair count so Try to bring your stuff into the red, and uh, it works out this way, okay? That's the best way to do it. So the rod be the same thing. This has no repair count, so I've never done it, but I'm not going to repair this. There's no need to, so this will probably wear out. As example, on the Salomos, uh, before the Carp Hunter Pro 4s, I still had the uh, Salomo series reels that actually survived three rods and I still have half the wear. So there is no reason to be spending your silver repairing stuff until it's absolutely necessary. And one keynote of interest, guys, that is very important is that you can also sell back your line because you can't repair your line. So you same thing with your line. We're getting into the yellow now. You see it goes kind of yellow, orange. See the leader's almost done. And same with the leader. You do not have to change the leader. When you bring in your last fish, this leader will go poof and uh, just make sure you put one on it before it's time. But when your line gets down to the red, you just simply right click on it, sell it. I'm going to get uh, 806 silver for this carp line. You can turn around, take that silver and invest it and go buy a brand new one and you'll be making uh, like a partial saving. So it's an investment that will be recyclable. And uh, you can sell back uh, the bells as well. So this is another one because it's not considered a consumable and only consumables can be sold. So if I was to sell this, you click on it, I'll get my 525 silver back. But I'm not going to sell it because I need it. But you cannot sell consumables, which is the baskets, the sinkers, the, the baits, and same with the hooks. Hooks are consumables. So, but you can repair the rod, wait till it's red. At least within that last 5%, it gets red around the last 5%. As you see here, I brought mine within three, so that was good. Now, this is going to last me probably another year, and it's caught me like 
thousands and thousands of silver. So for fish-wise, it well is a good investment. So just be aware that you can actually sell your stuff here, okay? So anyhow, this is our first guide, and uh, also I twitch uh, on the channels there for seven days a week, and I'm streaming the Fisher Online all the time. And uh, more than welcome to come and su subscribe to my channel, which is a monthly subscription. It'll help me support uh, my content and uh, update my old equipment. And I do look forward to having you part of our uh, fishing club if you do so. And or if you don't have the game, you'll, in the links below, you'll see where it is. Uh, it can be purchased and uh, definitely maybe enjoy it because it is a very fun thing to do. But I will be making many more videos along the way and update a lot of the stuff we're just going to do little pieces like that and hopefully if you have any comments or questions i'll be there to answer them or if there's content you want to see that you would like to share with others that i could make i will be more than happy to do so and we're also just on the dlc of the thousand islands but i decided to come to the store because i needed to buy bait Anyhow, look forward to seeing you on our 2022 updated new guide series number two next time. Ciao for now. Take care.